Hey guys, this is Smokey Cat, and uh, here we are at Operation Manticore Chapter 1 The Final Battle. Take down. 1600 to unlock. Uh, you know, I didn't have that much, and so I went ahead and spent the money to do it. So here we are. Lieutenant General Martian Bins, he is seasoned field operator, and, and he has set up a highly fortified defense, and you ain't kidding. Um, even for uh, this, uh, I'm doing it as a HQ-10, it was really tough. So um, this is uh, General Bins, and he's with the Manticore group, and uh, it's you're going to be facing him with no mercy. We unlock, and this is the first stronghold that we have located. Destroying this base won't be easy due to the reinforced defenses and its ability to self-repair. And uh, so structures have armor and it's the damage is done persistent multiple attacks which is really cool. And uh, damaged structures will repair themselves after it's you know 30 minutes, an hour, 600, 700 H, uh, hit points will be uh, added to the buildings time after time after every 30 minutes so pretty uh pretty wild stuff um, so taking into consideration level of base strength it's obvious that it will take several attempts to com completely destroy the base I like this style of attacking I wish that all the bases were like this because some bases could be much stronger and uh, you could use multiple attacks but anyway we'll continue this so we scout we're gonna get three crates if we get this 20 attacks remaining holy smokes um, I don't know what happens after 20 ta attacks um, you can do but I guess you don't win that one So on a HQ-10, not too bad, could a Colossus-3, and uh, I've seen on uh, higher bases that there's like two uh, ion cannons, one on each side. Um, so the health here, and, and then it has an armor, which is a blue line up above the uh, normal hit points that has, has to be destroyed. So I got uh, my troops in and I went ahead and got a gunship ready and uh, start taking out places and I got defeated but I got it down to 82% I went back at it re repaired all my troops and asked for strikers and went into it again so let's try again. Luckily, this base doesn't reset. I think the troops reset though. Yeah. So the buildings don't uh, re reset, but the troops do, and so you have to destroy all the troops again. So luckily, having the uh, gunship allowed me to get rid of more of the uh, base structures. That extra armor is pretty, pretty wild. Uh, it's sort of like each building is try trying to find a, fight a colossus that keeps on repairing itself. Yeah, 66%. Repair all my troops, revive my my uh, robot asked for troops and we get back into it so take out the uh, structures that are close by and try to take out some more of the uh, really interesting to see the uh, beam weapons and what they look like underneath this uh, view from the gunship some really strong armor they got there. 
So finally got the uh, iron can taken out, and I just could see that this was going to take forever. So I might as well bring my gunship again in so I wouldn't have retreated. So defeated, but I got it down to 29%. I repaired everything. Gotta get my Omega repaired. Got my troops back. And same amount of troops. Try to take some of them out before I brought in my other troops. I didn't realize that the took out some other forces with the gunship. Buildings and weapons that they have on their bases. I, can, I can't imagine doing this on an HQ 28. It would just be way too hard. I decided to slow it down for this to see the final buildings oh yeah. being taken out. So we got more intel and four crates. Do not think this is over. You have no idea how strong the Manticore Special Forces Corps has grown. We will see each other soon. Commander, you've just unlocked the first chapter of the archives. Continue the assault on the basis to unfold the story completely. So this is actually pretty cool. It's like a comic story. The so GRA was tightening its claws across the continents, and there was only one force that could stand against them, the ADF. Lieutenant General Marshall Binns had handpicked his best men for the mission. Had some handpicked men, and we're proceeding with the assault, and we'll risk civilian lives, abort mission, and fall back. Letting them escape will put even more lives at risk. We've never been this close, and this could be our only opportunity. I'm moving in. He stormed into the building and opened fire. They were civilians! But by the time they realized their mistake, it was too late. A sudden explosion sent them flying, and the GRE knew about it, the operation and were prepared. This is a trap! Fall back! Dins and a few others barely made it out, of the, and the GRE were still on their trail. Taking fire! Need assistance! We are on our own now. We have already pulled out support teams on the mission abort. They left us here to die. 24 ADF soldiers and 42 civilians lost their lives that day, and Binns managed to escape along with a few members from the special task force. If the HQ had not pulled back the support, they would have been still alive. I've had enough. I'm not serving someone who abandoned us on the battlefield to die. Binns resigned from services, and he blamed himself for the ADF High Command for what happened. A few days later, he had an ex unexpected visitor. I never took you for a man who would give up on a fight so easily. If you want to avenge your brothers, I have a proposal for you. To be continued. And here is General Marshall and information on who he is. So this is Chapter 1, Takedown. And we have all the information and we can go, go back to the archives and see everything we can see right now. And 
we have almost a day and a half before the next chapter begins. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got in the crates. Construction boost. Gold, I'll take gold. More gold and a construction boost. And more gold and a research boost. Not bad, not bad. Ranger here. And I'll go ahead and collect all this. So this is Smokey Cat. Remember to like and subscribe. See ya!